A raucous P1 FCU Kibbe Dome tonight for Idaho and Montana and the Grizz took last year's loss personally early on. Already up 3-0 Montana with a big play here. Clifton McDowell to Junior Bergen. That would go for a 76-yard touchdown to make it 10-0 Montana. Then in the second quarter, McDowell's going to take it in himself to make it 17-0 Grizz. But Idaho would crack the scoreboard right before the half. Anthony Woods gets in the end zone, but the Vandals trailed 20-7 at the half. In the fourth quarter, Idaho down 23-7, trying to get something to happen. Giovanni McCoy to Hayden Hatton for the touchdown. That makes it 23-13. The Vandals would then convert the two-point try to make it 23-15 Grizz. Then with under two minutes to play, how about this play, folks? McCoy's gonna roll out, he stumbles but stays up and he finds Hatton in the back of the end zone for the touchdown to make it 23-21, but the Vandals would not convert the two-point try. So Idaho gets the ball back with 52 seconds left, but on the first play of the drive, McCoy is stripped, Montana recovers, and the Grizzlies bring the Little Brown Stein back to Missoula with a 23-21 victory. Here is Coach Eck on the tough loss. I'm very proud of the way we battle because, again, you have games where you're down by 20 points. You know, it can be easy to kind of just throw in the towel and, you know, lose by 35 points or something. So uh, very proud of our effort, but, you know, we're going to have to watch this film and learn from it because uh, we can certainly play a lot better.